Jeremiah 4, verse 22, coming from the King James Version of the Hebrew Bible. And this is what it reads. For my people is foolish, they have not known me. They are Scottish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. And that's what the Most High told Jeremiah to tell his people. And that would be the Jews during that time when Jeremiah came on the scene. Judah was caught up in adultery and the Most High was sending them into captivity and he would be gracious to them if they had repent when you read the book of Jeremiah but they didn't they eventually went into captivity and the Most High destroyed the city that King Solomon built for him actually the uh, church that he built but it, it became a city when you go back and um, read the stories of the prophets which will be in the Tanakh okay now I just want to just stop by and just encourage um, the members over there in um, Harlem New York if you haven't heard you happen to be an Israelite and you're watching my video there's a situation that's going on in Harlem with the elders at, at of that camp we don't know what's going on because none of them have not publicly came out and said anything to us. So we just go on by hearsay. The, the FBI have the uh, church locked down. So you, with the organization locked down. I'm not sure if they have the church locked down. But you can't enter into the building. So they have the dog sniffers out there. So obviously it's, this is serious. We don't know what it is. But if you have watched the videos. My job is to encourage you not to feed into the gossip because that's what we have right now we have a lot of slander and a lot of gossip and a lot of our people don't appreciate the work that these elders have been doing for our people what goes on in their personal lives is none of my business and it shouldn't be none of your business either they have given us hope which would be history when it comes to our heritage and as well as our lineage they made it publicly so that you can get a biblical understanding of who you are and that's all we need we don't need to know anything about what's going on with their personal lives okay now is this something that they have done that um that needs to be addressed and brought to the public then the Most High is going to deal with it in his time, okay? Because he said every guy, every person is going to reap what they have sown, and everything is going to be brought to the light, okay? So we cannot escape judgment. It's going to come on all of us. But my concern is we don't need to attack and slander our brothers when they are when they're going through a situation right now, because. That's not good. We're breaking the law. Did not he say, Thou shalt not go about slandering my people because I am your God? He said, Your people, but he said, I am your God. Don't go about slandering your people. Pray for your people. Pray for your brothers. Pray for your sisters because there's something going on with all of us. Okay? So you need to be mindful of that. Okay? So I just want to just encourage the members of that church be strong. Remember that the elders have given us some information regarding our heritage, our lineage, and they even gave us history. A lot of the gathering groups that you see online, they, most of them came out of that organization. And they continue on spreading the doctrine that they believe to be true when it comes to the Hebrew movement. Whether you choose to believe it or not, that's your prerogative. I chose to believe what they were saying. And I utilize what they have given to the public. Now, I don't know if you took advantage of what they have been saying. That's your business. But I have. And I believe that African Americans are from the seed of Abraham. And we can be traced back to the tribe of Judah. And that's where Christ can be traced back as well. So we are fulfilling Bible prophecy, whether you choose to believe it or not. What you need to do is do the research so that you can understand heritage. This is a Hebrew Bible, 
And if you're not from the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, then you know what? It's not talking to you. It only talks to the nation of Israel from beginning all the way to the end. So you need to understand that even though in Christ's day they had what is called Greek language as well as the Latin language, but the Apostle Paul makes it very clear when you go back and read his books. He said, according to Acts 26 and verse 14, I heard a Hebrew tongue speaking to me. So it's very important that you understand that Christ spoke in the Hebrew language and he also is a Hebrew Israelite. Okay? So I want to pray right now for the church over there in Harlem because some of the members may have left. You never know. They may have left. Some of them might be offended and they might be embarrassed to even talk about what's going on. So Father, I'm going to take this time to lift up the church up there in Harlem. I pray that you would help and restore and bring integrity to the situation so that you won't be offended, so that you will get the glory and praise. Thank you, Father. I pray that you will lift up the broken spirits that may be wounded by the situation and give them hope and restore joy back into their lives. In the name of your Son, thank you, Father. Shalom, Israel, and be strong.